Oh, look at it. It looks so sad over there. Wants to get out on the road. I know it does. So do I. <laughs> you but sometimes in the winter I find myself just sort of standing in my trailer trying to drink it all in and remember days of yore when I was out on the road um, and I realized that uh, in the winter when everything's shut down and when the trailer is empty it's actually a pretty good time to do some modifications so here are just a few modifications it's nothing too complicated maybe just enough to get you into your trailer during its winterization and enjoy it a little bit even though you can't be out on the road Okay, so the first mod has to do with this pantry storage unit. We A lot of us have them, and I don't know, it's like oohs and ahs whenever I show anybody this. Like when you press this button, you pull this pantry out. It's always very exciting. Um, but people find that these metal racks uh, bounce around sometimes during travel, and it can be a problem. So I want to show you how to secure those. Before I do, I also want to show you these containers. Um, these are OXO Good Grips containers, and they have this sort of pop top on them. You can see that the button pops in and out. What I found is that they're exactly the right width for this um, storage facility, and they come in a couple different sizes. There's a there's a real small one here. There's a, like a medium sized one here. Um, there's there's a tall one, very handy for like pasta and stuff. And then there is even the um, what I would call the Hujungo size, very large, good for cereal. Uh, flour, sugar, other staples. So, and they seal really nicely with that popped top. Um, and again, the profile is perfect for these metal racks. But speaking of the metal racks, um, what you can do over the winter is you can secure these. And you can see that mine are really secure, right? I can, I can move this whole thing around and the, uh, the racks don't move. And let me show you why. It's a like a $2 fix here. So what I did here was I just attached some zip ties, right? Right there. There's a zip tie right there. There's a zip tie right there. Right? There's one right there. And there's one at the back as well. Okay, back in there. So, you know, it's a really cheap modification. That's four zip ties, it looks like, per rack times four racks so you, you just don't need a lot of um a lot of material there so um that's modification number one costs less than a dollar it's a great modification to do when your trailer is empty when all the food has been removed from it and you'll um, you'll be happy you did it all season long so let's move on to modification number two the second modification is uh the twin beds so in my trailer i have these twin beds and when you sit on the edge of them uh, originally, the, the, the mattress would like sort of curl down and it would be unsupported. And a few things would happen. One, I couldn't open these cabinets underneath. That was a pain. And number two, the sort of bed clothes, the sheets and blankets would, um, would get loosened up by this and they'd dangle and it would cause all sorts of just clutter and mess. It was just hard to keep track of things. So what I did was I extended the platform. So I think you can see this on here, right? I just added a sheet of plywood here. Uh, and it's the length of the unsupported section. It's a half an inch sheet of plywood with a little bit of a trim piece. It's just a piece of pine. It's nothing, uh, it's nothing fancy. And I stained it to match the trailer vaguely. Um, uh, and I just screwed it down. One, two, three, four screws. So if I ever do need to get in here, I could unscrew it and, and pull it right out. But that's it. It was really simple. I did it in my workshop at home in like an hour and then I painted it and put a little polyurethane on it to make it a little um, a little easier to clean. But then screwed it, brought it to the trailer, screwed it in. And now these are super solid and I can sit right on the edge of them and, and tie my shoes. Um, but also uh, my, my wife uses the cabinets under my bed and I use the cabinets under her bed. And while we're sitting here, we can reach across and get into those cabinets underneath, even if somebody's sitting on the edge. So that too is a very simple modification. Not a lot of expensive materials can be done with very basic tools and has really made a big difference. The other hidden benefit is it's almost like boat-like the way now our sheets and blankets like tuck under the mattress, but onto the platform. So they stay tucked in. It keeps it really nice and neat and tidy. And it, um, I don't know, it's just a real positive. So, um, so that's the second modification. Modification number two. Let's check out another one. 
Okay, so this third one's a little more advanced, um, but not much, and that is um, the hall closet. First, you may notice that I actually reversed the door. It used to open this way, and now it opens this way. So it opens towards the kitchen since we tend to use it for the kitchen. But the other modification I made in here is that this closet originally had a hanging bar here. And I don't know about you guys, but I don't spend a lot of time wearing you know, clothes that need to hang up when I'm camping. So I put in some shelves, and I just did that very simply by adding battens on either side and um, setting these shelves on here. And the shelves are just sitting there, right? Gravity is the only thing holding them in place. So if I do need to get in there and clean it out or access the um, the um, access panel that's way back there, I can lift all this out without much trouble. I sized the bottom shelf to to a particular bin that I like to keep in there, and that's that's where I created the um, the height factor there. But the rest of the shelves were just at convenient locations. I even divided this top shelf up here. And it really doubles the storage for things like towels and things like that. So, um, so I really do recommend converting this center closet to shelves it gives us a lot more usable space. And also reversing this door was actually a pretty surprisingly simple thing. I think uh, the hinges may even have lined up just perfectly. I think I needed to use, move one of them uh, to adjust it. But uh, reversing that door really improved the flow of the trailer. Again, that's something that's really good to do when the thing is empty. So that's uh, third modification. Here's another quick one that has really been uh, nice to have. We have a bunch of cabinets like this that are down low and they don't hold a lot. But uh, by slipping in just a little plywood shelf here, um, they hold twice as much. So this shelf is exactly the height of some canned goods, so we can put cans under the under the bottom, we can put cans on the top, and um, it just really adds a lot of storage space. I've done it in another cabinet as well. Okay, so I wanted to show you one last thing that's going to seem really complicated on the surface, but it's actually pretty easy, uh, and that is installing a drawer. So, um, so let's take a look at this. In my trailer, as in many of yours, there's this bottom door down here, and, and it used to just fold down flat and land on the ground. Actually, this drawer, this door right here still behaves the same way. So this is what it used to do. It used to just flip down and land flat on the ground, and I really didn't like that. So what I did instead was I converted it to a drawer. And all that it took to do that was to build a box of the right size out of half-inch plywood. And I installed some very cheap, I think they were $10 drawer slides from Amazon.com. I can put a link to those in the, um, in the comments. And now, this thing's really great, really easy to access. So, let me show you what it looks like from above. Okay. So where my kids keep all their poker chips, but uh, very simple, easy in, easy out, uh, a nice modification. So there you go, four simple mods, well, maybe three simple mods and one more advanced mod to get you into your trailer in the winter, and also to capitalize on the fact that it's empty. It's easy to make modifications to storage spaces and sleeping quarters uh, when uh, they're not full of stuff. So there you go. I hope that helps.